the Mount of Wing Chun. Today I'm going to show you some more techniques that we train on the wind dummy and how to use it in self-defense. So this one is called the Bong Sao Lap Sao Fak Sao Zat Sao Pong. So going one side, Bong Sao Lap Sao Fak Sao at the same time. Zat Sao and Palm at the same time. Now you Bong Sao on this side, Fak Sao this side, Zat Sao Palm this side. So in faster speed it's boom, 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 boom. All right, so let me show you how to use that in self-defense. Here's how to do the technique against self-defense application. So let's show you how to do that in slow motion. Let me slow it down for you to show you what I'm doing. So in the dummy form, a lot of times we actually start with the bong sao, and then we go into the lap sao. And a lot of people say, well, that doesn't make sense. If you punching me with this arm, why would I bomb with this arm? Because then I open this part, right? It's gonna hit me here, okay? Now, what makes sense though, is what if I'm standing this way and he attacks me from the side? How can I block that? I can't bong him with this hand because then I have to go all the way this way, right? The shortest way to block it is to raise this, right? So now we have the bong sao on the, uh, the wrong side. But I have to do this because this is a natural reaction. Let's say out of nowhere, say he punches me, and then whoa, it's a natural reaction. This happens, okay? So now what we have, we have bong sao on the wrong side. And then I can use it because I have this structure and in the dummy, that's how we're using it. So here we go, lap sao. So, and he punches me with the other hand, I set immediately and punch. Or this in the form. So that's how you're using it. Okay, so one more time. He's attacking me from the side. Ooh, bomb on the wrong side. I have to do this. This is the close, I don't have to, but this is the closest block. So I raise this, lap in fa, set. Okay? And then the demo, I grab this and kick him here. So that's how we use the technique. Another important concept that this technique teaches is the compound force application. So what I mean by compound force is, come here. So here's one force pulling him in. Here's another force hitting him. Now if I hit him just like this, it's that hard, right? If I pull him like this, it's also power. So if you combine them, then you have two forces combined to one. So that increases the force, doesn't it? Okay. Now a lot of people, trying to, beginners especially, trying to uh, get power in a short distance is possible. But what if you can do two short distances and now they add up, up to a longer distance, right? You got one short distance here, one short distance here, now two short distances add up to a longer distance and you get more power. Doesn't that make sense? Okay, so here's how we train. One at the same time. That's why you have to do it at the same time. Boom. The other one comes in. Boom. You have to do it at the same time because this makes his, put shock into his body, make his brain shake a bit and it makes him lose balance. At the same time, I'm hunching. So you need to practice on the dummy. You oh, that. At the same time, that at the same time, going this way, la at the same time, la and fa at the same time, that at the same time. So you need to practice on the dummy. That's what it's for. So you can feel the pulling, this stuff, pulling, pulling and hitting at the same time. Okay, no matter what position it is, boom, right, boom, boom. Okay, it's very subtle, but you can feel that. Right, you can feel that the. Uh, compacting and the compounding of that force. So that's how you generate more power in your Wing Chun punches. It's not just short punches like that, which if you're good, you can do it. It's also, it's actually two forces happening at the same time. So that's how you can use this technique to increase power also. Here's a shot from a better angle so you get a better view of what's happening. So basically I'm here and then I want to redirect this. So I'm going boom, see how it, I pull his body in, at the same time, boom, right to the juggler or to the nose, okay? Right, so one, and then when that punch is coming in, I already have this ready for my zut, sell, and my, for my punch. So he's, see he's pulling in, and then boom, and pulling him into the punch, okay? So when the fast speed, yeah. whoa, out of the way, boom, boom, like that. Okay, and then you follow up with chain punches after that. So that's how you can use this application. Hey, thanks for watching my Wing Chun dummy techniques and self-defense applications. I hope you enjoyed that. Make sure you check out some of my other videos on this channel. And if you haven't already, subscribe to this channel to get all the coolest Wing Chun self-defense, Kung Fu, and uh, meditation tips even. So we see you in the next video.